opposition proceedings to grant of patents section 25 deals with opposition to the patent section 25 1 deals with opposition before the grant which means a case where you can oppose an application a patent application it is also commonly called pre grant opposition and section 25 2 deals with post grant opposition or opposition after the grant of a patent so the main difference between these two types of opposition is one happens before the grant and the other happens after the grant pre grant opposition the rules are much relaxed as you would see the status of an opponent is also much wider and the it's a summary proceeding and now we have decisions of the high court where they have held the role of a pre grant opponent or the person who opposes before the grant is that of a person who aids the examination so he is actually like a person who helps the examination of the patent so in law we have amicus curiae something similar to that a friend of a court so he can be regarded as a friend of the patent office because he helps or aids in the examination post grant is different because in a post grant opposition the post grant opponent gets a party status there are forms there are fees to be filed so he is regarded as a party and post grant opposition is regarded as an inter partes proceeding the the trips agreement under the wto has different kinds of proceedings and one of the proceedings is inter partes between parties a contentious proceeding is called as an inter partes proceeding the post grant opposition qualifies for that pre grant may not qualify for an inter partes proceedings because a pre grant opponent does not have a status of a party he does not file fees for instance or he does not have a remedy in appeal so if the pre grant opponent loses the opposition there is no remedy in appeal he cannot file an appeal to the ipab that is not open for the pre grant opponent this the law is quite settled now because of few decisions of the high courts so be it pre grant opposition or post grant opposition they can be initiated on common grounds the grounds are common all the grounds for pre grant opposition and post grant opposition are common the only difference being the point at which you raise those grounds so when in pre grant you will raise all those grounds when the application is still an application and it has not materialized into a grant in a post grant op opposition you would raise the same grounds but after the grant and the procedure is also different for pre grant and post grant uh, there is an opposition board that is constituted for the post grant which is now there for the pre grant so as we go we will be able to see these two procedures in greater detail and we will also tell you how the law has evolved uh, and we'll also share some details about how the current practices happen mm -hmm.